Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, hi my name is Shani. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. What's up? What's good with you? Thank you for being here. So in today's video, I'm going to be finally, y'all know, I'm always late with reviewing stuff but y'all still want to see it. So that's exactly why I'm here today to review this foundation. I've already tried to film this video once and my eye makeup wasn't cutting it so I was just like, yo. You can't put this up. You can't. So if you guys have been living under a rock, NYX came out with a foundation called the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley here on YouTube. If you guys don't know who Alyssa Ashley is, just, you should know who she is, honestly. So congratulations to Alyssa and NYX because y'all, NYX, NYX, low key be doing it out here. They have 45 shades. When I went in the store and seen how many foundations were just sitting there in my face, I was just like, wow, like they really did that. And the foundation shades are actually in the store because sometimes companies come out with foundations and they don't be in the store. They just have them online. That is so annoying. Like I like to see stuff and feel stuff and touch it and go into the store and see what my color is. I don't know if it's the brand alone that just doesn't put the color in the store and keep it online or it's the store and where you're located. I don't I don't know. So when companies do come out with foundations, I kind of notice that. Y'all, my eyes switching. I don't know why. But anyways, that's what I've noticed sometimes when brands do come out with foundation shades that are my skin tone. Sometimes they're just not in the store. They keep them online. And that's like really disrespectful because I want to try the foundation too. Like, what's up? It's a matte foundation. Y'all know how I feel about matte foundations. But I'm going to make it work for my personal preference i didn't buy the um primer because i don't like looking matte so that's why i did not buy the primer because matte on matte is just i know i'm not gonna like it. and then it says every creamy shade glides on smooth delivering matte coverage and a color that will stay true up to 24 hours i'm not gonna be wearing this for 24 hours it's actually 6 28 right now so i'm starting this video really late in the day. This little overachiever also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long but it doesn't stop there. This foundation is non-comedogenic and suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types. Okay next! You got everybody covered! <laughs> so the color that I got in this foundation is Coco and this is a neutral undertone a deep deep neutral undertone so that's me and then there's so many other shades behind mine usually i'm the darkest shade when it comes to finding foundations in the drugstore so to see that they have one two three four five six seven seven foundations after my shade is that just makes me feel warm inside, honestly. So let's just go ahead and, you know, prime the face and get into this review because I feel like I've been talking a lot. I miss y'all. So let's get into it. Where's where's my primer? What am, what am I doing today? Okay, so I went ahead and moisturized off camera with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And then I went over my moisturizer with the Mario Badescu Cucumber Spray. Love this stuff. Alright, so to prime my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. And I'm just going to apply this to the center of my face to fill in these pores. I love how it just makes that area look so poreless. That's why I always use this primer because it just works, you know? And I'm not going to put anything else on the rest of my face because... This foundation is matte and I don't want my face to look really, really matte. So because it is matte and I do have combination skin, sometimes I'm oily, sometimes I am dry. I want to make sure that I moisturize because I don't want it to look dry. So if you're dry, make sure you moisturize. If you're oily, really, really oily use a mattifying primer or a primer that's going to control your oils so now i'm going to take my nyx concealer in cocoa and i'm using this to kind of color correct my under eyes before i put on my foundation this is just what i've been doing lately i 
really need to get this concealer in a lighter color so I can like highlight up under my eyes with. So that's the concealer. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. So now everything is even. I really like this concealer. It looks so good on my skin. Now let's get into this foundation. So that's the color on my chest. And my chest is lighter than my face, so I try to get a color that's not too much darker. So it does look a little warm, but trust me, we all see it on my skin. It works. And I'm gonna swatch it on my face. It looks real strong right now. Like I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. So the brush that I'm using is the Morphe E34 brush, and I already put some of the foundation on the brush. So I'm just going to dump this onto my face and blend it in. Y'all see how it just blended out really good though. It doesn't look too orange and I feel like I'm going to put on a little bit more. As you guys can see, it is a matte. Finish. All right, so for concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut mixed with the NYX Concealer in Cocoa. Taking my Beauty Blender to blend this out. And everything is just looking so nice. Let me not speak too soon because I gotta make sure this foundation ain't gonna flash back on me. So, yes, I will be doing a flash test. Alright, now I'm gonna blend this out. Now I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with, y'all know, Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Block the excess. And I'm just gonna use this and set up under my eyes. Take your own mouth area, because that area likes to crease. So I'm just setting this area as well. And then I'm just gonna set the rest of my highlighted areas. Nose. Forehead. This looks so good. I'm like pageant ready right now. That's how this face is looking. Now, let me go ahead and set my face with the Sasha, Sasha, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, which has been discontinued. So, why? Why did I do that? Just lightly setting my face with the powder not too much because like I said this foundation is matte and I'm not trying to look dehydrated out here so go easy with the powder sis now I'm going to contour slash bronze my face with the y'all know the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso like this is all I contour with the forehead up a little bit now I'm gonna take the e27 brush from morphe and I'm using this to contour my nose I'm gonna take it up by the brow and bring it down and then I like to put a shadow right here I just like the way it looks honestly to highlight my face I'm using this super shock cheek pearlized um, highlighter from ColourPop in the color Candy Man. Now I'm taking Mean Money and putting that right on top. For blush, I'm using Desert Rose from MAC. And the brush that I'm using, I forgot the name of this brush. I'm pretty sure I got it from Ulta, but that's the brush I'm using to apply some blush. 
I'm just wearing this ColourPop gloss, which is, it's almost gone. And I don't think they sell it anymore. I'm taking the Fresh Spray. I was going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I actually like this, but I feel like this makes me more matte. I like to glow. I like a little, I like a little shine. So that's why I'm using this. All right, so I'm back a couple hours later, probably like two or three hours later. I don't remember when I finished my makeup because my battery actually went dead, so I just stopped filming. Um, I was basically done with my makeup. I just had to finish doing a couple stuff. I don't remember what I was doing, but I'm back a couple hours later, and it's 9.46, as you guys can see. But yeah, this is how the foundation is looking after like three hours wear but I came back on camera because I wanted to do a flash test I like doing a flash test when my makeup is like really fresh you know so I'm gonna go ahead and do a picture so you guys can see if it flashes back okay so Okay, um, I see y'all next. I, I really see y'all. Like, y'all really did not come to play, okay? Just to make sure I'm seeing everything correctly, let me wipe off, you know, the camera a little bit. You know, I gotta wipe it off, make sure. The picture is, like, crystal clear. Oh. Oh, this picture is cute. I have nothing else to say about this foundation i'm not telling you to go get it because i know y'all watch my videos and i review a lot of stuff so i'm not telling you go get it go out and buy but when you run out of that foundation that you love and you want to try another one then i think you should try this one out because i mean it looks good i'm gonna come back a little bit later wear this foundation a little longer i am sweating right now i did go out earlier to the store and I went to try to take pictures, but <laughs> it's 9.57 right now, about to be 10 o'clock, so I'm going to wear this foundation for two more hours and see how it looks. So that's going to be like five hours of wear. Maybe I'll try to wear this a little bit longer. Let's just see what happens, okay? Alright y'all, so it's now 1.28 in the morning. There we go. It actually still looks really good. I'm actually sweating right now because it's hot in my room. And these lights are giving off a little bit of heat. Just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm sweating right now. But I wanted y'all to see the foundation without me touching it. Because I haven't done anything to the foundation at all. So I'm going to go ahead and blot. I don't ever really blot my face. I just let it get shiny. <laughs> mm, that just brought the foundation back to life a little bit. There's not really any creasing going on. I feel like it's trying to come through, but it might just be my hair that's right there. Or let me shave it. This is the foundation. Y'all seen how it wears. Y'all seen the flash test. And I actually really like this foundation. So the first time I wore this foundation, I was like really hesitant because I didn't want it to dry really matte because y'all know I don't like a matte like a really matte finish i like to be matte in some areas so when i first tried out this foundation i was making sure i was using products that were a little more moisturizing i wasn't going ham with the moisturizer like i did today i was just making sure i moisturized my skin so that the foundation didn't like suck all the oil out of my face the little bit of oil that was there so i kind of like added more moisturizer than i normally do transfer proof i probably should have tried it before i started sweating but it it transferred a little bit y'all see it do i think it's gonna last 24 hours mm, for a good 16 hours i don't know 24 i don't i don't know about that i definitely think you guys should try it out i'm not just saying that i just i really think this is a good foundation so that's it for this video y'all i really hope you guys like it thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos thank you so much for staying tuned i love y'all and i'll see y'all in my next video which i will put right here